orbs, hein? Mas eu trago esse senso. Aí, provavelmente eu falei o nome errado, uma carta para o futuro. É um jogo atmosférico. É, que tem bastante diálogo. Então. Então vamos lá. Conhecer esse jogo. Vamos aqui em configurações. Então, lembretes. Deixa eu ver de alta. Então. Vamos lá. you anyway where are you how far in the future where'd you find my journal I may never know but you can know me from what I put down on these pages I come from a little village in the mountains no one has left here since before I was born but our lives changed overnight just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream a vision that the Elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The Elder had one condition for letting me go, that I take what I collect to the museum vault, a palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope that's where you're reading this now. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on Earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room, and I can hear my mom's voice. Ok, uh, temos o índice, tá? Um, Casa do Futuro, épocas anteriores. Esse jogo ele tem muito, muito textos, muito diálogos. Então, vou resumir para vocês aqui. É um jogo atmosférico, então ele é tem um pouco de crenças também e de culturas diferentes. O que acontece nesse jogo? 
uns textos aí. É, é uma garota que vai sair de casa pela primeira vez. E nesse meio a gente vai explorar o mundo. E tudo que, que o mundo tem a gente vai... A gente vai... Testinho aqui. A gente vai interagir com os objetos e algumas coisas. E nesse meio a gente vai anotando tudo no nosso diário. Vamos gravar som, vamos tirar foto. Então ele vai ser tanto em terceira pessoa e primeira pessoa. É... Não, esse aqui nós viu, né? Não, meu amigo, eu não quero esse aqui, não. Então, ele é um jogo... Pode ser que não agrada muitos, porque ele não é tanto de ação. Então, ele... Mas ele tem essa pegada, tá? De, 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 de a gente poder explorar o mundo. Certo aqui. É, então, o que acontece, galera? Eu resolvi trazer esse, esse jogo porque eu achei um jogo também diferente, um gráfico muito bonito e por ter esse tipo de culturas diferentes, né? É, e crenças diferentes também, eu resolvi trazer para a gente. Dá uma conhecida aí. Então, a gente pode ter as é, diferentes diálogos aqui. Isso não altera muito a moralidade. Né, não afeta o personagem, mas muda as falas, tá? Então, vamos lá. You're up. It's going to be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. Still gotta make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a shield to protect your body, an identity pendant protects your mind. Your thoughts, memories, everything that makes you, you. We don't wear them here in the village anymore. But if you're going into the outside world, eu proteção. Diseases of the mind, like the dream sickness. We don't know what caused it. We heard people suddenly fell into an eternal sleep. These were years of wild rumors, and half of them turned out to be true. times of war, a pendant can be used to identify a body. Oh, let's skip that part. Objects have two layers, the physical and the mental. The pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. 3. Feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it. It's supposed to be painless, at least. Ok, uh, 
A gente tem a opção, né? Perder as lembranças e ser compreensivo. Eu vou ser compreensivo. Ok, então... Esse novo tape deveria funcionar para o nosso senso de som. Eu lembro... Você e eu fomos dormir ouvindo esse tape. What an odd feeling. Like an absence disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in until I forget that I forgot anything at all. Oh. I'm glad I'm only losing a few memories. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. You should pick the rest of the objects. I'll lose the memories, but you'll have them in a pendant forever. So they should be important to you. They should be part of your identity you want to be sure to protect. So think about what these items and what the memories would preserve about you. Let's do smell next. Find an object with a strong odor and that holds a piece of you. Ok, uh, tá, vamos procurar itens aqui, tanto para visão, tato. Tá, vamos pegar. Aqui, ah, tem que flores secas e doces. Flores secas. Ancient perfume sweet. Nothing is ever lost. What did you choose for smell? Let's breathe in deep. Your dad used to bring these flowers home from his climbs. They only grow high up in the mountains. He was a great climber. He even found us a new source of water. I hoped after he would climb less, maybe even retire. But he always wanted to explore, and the only direction to go was up. Maybe the Elder is letting you leave out of guilt for what happened to your dad. If someone has the energy to leave, it needs to go somewhere. He fell into the Fitz ravine. He never found his body. But doesn't he rest with us at night? Doesn't he appear in our dreams? How can such a human being depart this earth without leaving behind a trace? A trace as strong as the flowers would still have their scent. Darling, I don't want to lose this one. I can't lose this one. Can we put the flowers back, please? Um. Tá, a gente tem duas opções. Tá, vou deixar para lá. Thank you. Sweet wax honey. How I've tried to save things. What did you choose for smell? Let's breathe in deep. I remember. These were a present from your friend Pate. It was such a special gift that you wouldn't eat a single one. But after a while, the candy became as hard as rocks. The candy was meant to give one moment of sugary joy. And you realized, we talked about this, 
that by trying to save them, they lost their purpose. It might have been better to just enjoy them in the moment. Now touch. Pick something with the texture you like. Ok, para o tato. Soft, cold, smooth. I used to see souls everywhere. So what did you end up choosing? Ok, feel the spoon. There were years when you saw faces everywhere. We had to be gentle with everything in case it had a soul. I remember you saw some sticks on the ground in the shape of a face. You were so worried what would happen if the wind blew. I secretly put the sticks away and showed you the face on this spoon. Look, she transformed, I said. You were so serious. Studying it, thinking how a soul could transform shapes. Eventually, you stop seeing faces everywhere. Does the world have fewer souls in it now than when you were a child? Or are they still out there? My hand when I was a child. This speaks to how my mom loves me. So, what did you end up choosing? I remember it so well. It's not as bad now, but in the old days. Not many children live long enough to grow up. We believed if a child could make it to the age of nine, they'd be all right. This print was made of your hand when you turned nine. Your father and I couldn't believe we really had a healthy girl. An old deep fear inside of me finally went away. And we saw you would just keep growing and growing. That everything was going to be okay. Taste, we can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. The memory I'll lose is the one we're forming right now. I want you to have it forever. Standing here, you're having a last taste of home. Now you're protected by lost memories. A gem of home around your neck. This is my only condition for letting you go. You must promise me never to take the pendant off. 
and never tamper with it. Okay? Then I'm okay with you leaving. I think your camera and bag are still in your room. It's time to gather them up. Ok. Vamos lá. Bom, como eu tava dizendo, galerinha, é um jogo interpretativo, então... Ele é uma pegada mais devagar, tá? Ok, abriu o diário. I just performed a ritual with my mom. The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. Tá, a gente tem as recordações aqui, que é o que a gente vai montar no nosso diário, tá? À medida que vai montando, a gente completa ele e vai ter mais diálogo de novo. Até completar ali. I never knew when my mom would share a memory of dad while cooking on a walk with no warning. It knocked the wind out of me. Rituals take this grief and give it a shape and a story. Filling in this journal is a ritual too, but for a loss that hasn't hit us yet. Okay. Tools to record the sights and sounds of this season. I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. O nosso gravador. Public sleep music is a tradition of ours here. When the music ends, the village will begin to wake up. Last night there was a goodbye party here in the plaza. Everyone was so afraid for me. To understand that fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Funio. Last night my friends wrote down their hopes for my trip and tied them to the branches of this tree. Smells like an old man's toes dipped in cinnamon. I had to drink this gross potion last night. Like my pendant, it's supposed to protect my brain.
This is a healing instrument created by Dr. Fumio. It draws on the pure mountain air. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on through our traditions. There are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. É, meus amigos, tem muita coisa para explorar nesse jogo. Dr. Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. He wasn't able to cure it. Então, galera, é nesse esquema. A gente tá saindo de casa e tá é, anotando todas, registrando todas as nossas descobertas é, com fotos, com áudio e Remembering everything must be painful. Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. Nessa vibe atmosférica aí. É como eu disse, galera, pode agradar alguns e pode não agradar. Você ser um jogo mais The elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother. Who was suffering from time misperception? Você nessa vibe mais mais lenta, mais devagar. Castelin bacana para dar uma explorada. Você que já dá, dá para montar a rodação aqui? Faltando uma ainda, né? Faltando uma ainda. The search was called off for dad. Our doorstep was covered in them. square of earth lay down so you have the dirt at your back close your eyes close everything do you see for yourself you see for the dead for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. Your ancestors are in that dirt. All the living and all the dead are holding you up. Now stand. They're still there, aren't they? It's time to move, to entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. 
So the next time you lay down in the dirt, you will have so much more to tell them. Muito bem. Agora vamos explorar, né? A beira foi muito bonito. Ah, vamos pegar. Podemos escolher a rosa, azul, amarela. Um, vou pegar essa amarela aqui. Bonito, hein? Bom, galerinha, eu acho que deu pra gente pegar esse jogo. É um jogo bem da hora, eu acho bem massa. É, essa vibe diferente, né? Dela. Então... É nessa pegada, galerinha. É um pouco interpretativo, com bastante diálogo, bastante textos. Opa. Nessa aventura dela para sair de casa, né? Sair de casa e explorando e interagindo com algumas coisas, né? Então eu achei bem da horinha. E eu espero que vocês tenham gostado ou não. Não deixe de comentar, dá um tapa no like. E se você não é inscrito no canal, se inscreve aí, dá uma facinha para nós, galerinha. Pra gente tá aí. Podendo estar tá melhorando e melhorando o canal e trazendo mais conteúdo para vocês. Então é isso aí, galerinha. Cortar o rito aqui, saindo aqui. Falou, até mais e sayonara. Before setting up in Karo village, Dr. Fumio roamed the land curing people. It must have been hard when he wasn't around anymore, especially for people who couldn't travel to the village. They were right. 
the letter never made it. The season before this one, the war, seems so horrible. letters that the outside world has extremes of beauty and tragedy beyond anything I've known. feel nourished in these sights by the unfamiliarity of it all. These means of connection, long in disuse, are certainly telling me something about the world. Will they be used again in the next season? Crane to move materials around. The things that used to be possible. I was going to say. My first time petting an animal. I think it went pretty well.
Mm, that time it felt off. I guess I had beginner's luck before. Okay, now I got it back. I'm in control. I can easily pet certain four-legged animals. cycled through landscapes, seeing them for the first and last time. I had no idea when I left my home how the season would end, or more importantly, how soon.